I might not keep my hair like this, you guys. I'm just doing the intro real quick. Um, wait for my kids to go to sleep because you guys know we worked a nice shift. And yeah. Um, hello, my black sheep. What's up, you guys? It's Queen with Idiot. And today we have another reaction. Okay, so we have a movie. We're going to explore a movie, you guys. This is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Did I pronounce it right? I'm Amber. We're going in blind. It does say comedy. Let's go to the tomato meter. So the tomato meter is 88% and the audience score is 84%. Of course, you guys give me your opinions down below. How do you guys feel about this movie? The first time you've seen it, the funniest scene since it says comedy. And yeah, we're going to do another comedy, which I'm very excited about. Okay, it says PG, so try not to laugh. Um, full length reaction being linked down the description. Make sure you guys go show you guys some love. Don't appreciate it and help you go out. Let's go. It's not like a robot. Let's go. So let's see what the hype is about. Please allow me to make this little contribution. No, I cannot accept them. The men of my country are proud. They would die rather than have their prince accept charity. But then think of the lives of the women and the children. <laughs> but for the children. She's the blonde in the blue sequin dress. His voice just sounds like a plot. Do you see what you can get for this, please? Not the royal ring, your highness. Do you want the whole world to know? Oh, was that the plan? No, madam. Uh, would you call him your highness? Please forget that. You can trust me. I, I broke. <laughs> madam, I am the police chief of beaumont sur mer <laughs> He sounded like he was in trouble. Brilliant. Brilliant. Extraordinary man. Oh, destiny. <laughs> couldn't help overhearing if you're in trouble and there's some way I can help. You must understand, I have powerful enemies. <laughs> they may be watching even as we... I must go. The full moon. Why did you jump? I feel it only fair to warn you. I know. This is for the overhead. You, Andre. They're scammers. Which means it's time to go to Zurich. Isn't that what that was? Excuse me. May I sit here, please? If you like. Thank you. <laughs> Pricest. <laughs> Water. Mm -hmm. Only water, but you seem so hungry. Well, she's not really my mother, actually. She's my grandmother. Oh, I'm sorry. But my gra but she's been quite ill lately. Look. Getting up. <laughs> is this a scammer spotting another scammer? Is that what this is? Because he keeps looking over there, and we know he is a scammer. <laughs> this man, whatever he wants. Oh, I can't let you buy me a meal. Look at him getting what he wants. I'll have a double turkey sandwich on white side order. <laughs> a double. Order. Thank you. Double everything, because I have to take one to go, too. That bother you? No. Uh, oh! <laughs> Lies. Right. Didn't you say she was taken ill? I tell them what they want to hear if it gets me what I want. Freddie Benson. You are? Lawrence Jameson. Listen. Men don't live as long as women. We get more heart attacks. It's time for a change. <laughs> that probably shocks a guy like you, right? Well, it's rather a revolutionary thought. Do you really think it's possible? Like to take a woman for 20 bucks? No, I haven't. I'm afraid it's a little out of my... You act like she gave up the booty. Stop it. You're headed for the Riviera? Yeah, his little town there is supposed to be crawling with rich women. Mm. Bon mon sur mer. <laughs> so this is about scammy rich women. Okay. 
dirty dogs. I'm afraid you've been misinformed. <laughs> Burma used to be a lively spot, but it's been taken over now by older, retired couples. It's quite dead. Oh. Yeah. Some of these sleepy towns really pay off. Here we are. Is this train going to Portofino? Yes, it is. But we're getting off. Fee. Uh, how far up is Portofino? Portofino? It's about 170 kilometers. Wow. Your grandmother is living in Portofino? <laughs> yes, actually, she's quite ill. Oh. Well, good luck. <laughs> Your phone call did not give me much time. Marion was perfect. I needed a decoy. There was this idiot sharing my compartment who fancied himself as a bit of a play. They scared big game away. So he wants the whole prize to herself. Listen to this. A clever young American con artist, nicknamed... Con artist. I was saying scammer. ...has been working Western Europe. Krista Nudson. Two hours this morning. <laughs> White Ferrari. Creed. She should be arriving at approximately a half poacher. Yes. And he's no longer satisfied with rabbits. Monsieur Police Inspector. He moved up to the woods. You arrange <laughs> for me. I'm going to pay you back though. I'm no. uh, mad at you. Mrs. Nudson. Why did go toward an operation for his grandmother? They done caught the woman. Called the woman that gave him the money and everything to see that he was lying. There we go! <laughs> she gave it to me. Then she filed this complaint against you, Monsieur. She caught me with another woman. Very difficult. The charge is a serious one. His name. He don't remember. <laughs> Name's Josephson. Forrest. Lawrence Tim. <laughs> Jemison. Yes! Yes! <laughs> 75 years ago, they were still castrating. Don't say that word. Oh. Judge Renu. Yeah, yeah, I got about twelve. No, $900. Well, no, 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 no. I know this jury <laughs> wanted at least 5000 Fine. One only. He says you can go. <laughs> He's got to have the rest of the money within 48 hours. Yes, yes. You're good at sizing people up, and uh, I think you are one terrific guy. Oh, gosh. Investigation time. <laughs> she wants you to notice. She looks so fancy. Somebody be a gigolo, don't know. <laughs> Look, he, he seemed bothered now. It makes no sense. It's the fine. prince. The prince? I saw him shake your hand and pat you on the back. Eubanks of Omaha? Of Omaha. This has mentioned me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not once. Any of Omaha. He speaks of you with great affection. Drinks you. Thank you. What man? The courier, sir. He's waiting outside. He said you would recognize the secret password. Hi! Mm. Could you take this to the guest bedroom and see that everything is neatly pressed? <laughs> Go ahead, Arthur. How much do you want? Oh, your highness. He's a pro at want this. Money from a man who needs every penny to free his enslaved people? <laughs> I want money? I want you to teach me. Mm. I'm in your hands. The best. Till I met you. I mean... I never realized how far you could go with this scamming thing. You've opened my eyes. High school diploma. And you majored in? Metal shop. All right. I'll do it. What? <laughs> Classes begin after lunch. <laughs> Sir, I give you my words. The case will be investigated in a very slipshod manner. Stop worrying.
Vanessa? I paid the 100,000 francs in cash. Mm. Mm. For your country to help out the communists. It's just such a noble cause. <laughs> Oh, please don't be angry with me. Biggest wedding Tulsa's ever seen. <laughs> when do you think we could fly back? Didn't I tell you about him? Ruprecht is my brother. You have a brother? <laughs> well, when do I meet him? Well, he, he's in his room even as we speak. Would you like to meet him right now? Uh, what's he doing out here? His quarters are here. Oh. I should warn you that Ruprecht is, well, uh, special. No sudden moves. You've been banging on your pots again, haven't you? I told you. Cuddly, cuddly. <laughs> oh, Ruprecht. Yeah. He's very affectionate. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't your mother. <laughs> that mother? No. But I have wonderful news. Miss Trumbull and I are going to be married. What do we do for guests? What did we do when Uncle Ted was here? Mm. Mm, back up. <laughs> <laughs> Ruprecht! May I take your truck? Ruprecht need to go in the middle. Fork. Why is the cork on the fork? To prevent him hurting himself. <laughs> Diana and I are going to be married. And we are all going to live in Palm Beach. May I go to the bathroom yeah. first? Not here. <laughs> Twenty percent for the overhead. So. Yeah, because this is a team. <gasps> and he grabbed his butt. Yeah. Don't get paid. He's showing you how to get to it. Hey, what do I get? You are the student, <laughs> Freddy. All right, all right. How am I supposed to spend my money? Wine and drink. You can't drink them, Freddy. They're far mm. too valuable. So you sell them. You cherish. Never sell them. They mean too much to me. What's the angle? There is no angle, Freddy. Wow. May I say something here? Are you kidding me or what? All the time. I'm going it alone. Oh, <laughs> Freddy. Thanks a Yahoo. I'm getting out of this <laughs> town. Time? Then it is business as usual, huh? <laughs> Au revoir, Laurence. Au revoir, Andre. Oh, miss. Miss. What are you doing here? You know, that's a funny story. I was at the train station. I love me here, so I'll be around a little bit more. Thanks. Believe yeah. me, Freddy, I'm not afraid of you. True. I'm better looking than you. <laughs> and I could have you arrested again. We all have our limitations, Freddy. Fortunately, I discovered that taste and style were commodities that people desire. <laughs> know your limitations. You are immoral. We find a woman, set a price, and the first man to extract the correct amount from her wins. Janet Colgate, monsieur. Who is she? I believe she is the United States soap queen. Well, what if you first lose? one to get 50,000 out of her. Mm. And you don't love him at all, like, what? Just you. He has dropped it from side. Perhaps the jackal finally realizes he's no match for the lion, huh? Keep your eyes open, Andre. You turn up. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it doesn't work on every woman. Pardon me. <laughs> That's what I said, really? <laughs> Thank you. Table. Sure. What number would you like? Would you pick a number for me? <clears throat> no, he did not. Yeah, good luck. Well. 
<laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Where she get the action? Oh, it's not for me. It's for my grandmother. Rest in peace, Grandma. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know you, and here I am. Just one stroke of bad luck after another. Andre, come with me. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. You are a wonderful person, thank you. My problem isn't physical. It's emotional. That if we won, we'd get married. We went on, and we danced, and we won. <laughs> we got separated. And there they were. And they made love. Oh, look at the tears. Daddy Bravo. Terry, the host of Dance USA. <laughs> There's this psychiatrist. Dr. Emil Schuffhausen of the Schuffhausen Clinic. Like Schuffhausen is in demand all over the world. Well, you only have 2,000. You could have said like 40 something. That is a lot of money. <laughs> <You're> reminiscent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Traumatizing. Take, take me from this from place. The <laughs> I wish you hadn't written these things about me to Dr. Schuffhausen. You make me sound like a hero. Well, then, when the time comes, I promise mm -hmm. you, you'll have it. Yes. Yes. That's what I was going to say. If you're going to be nice and give someone like that money. If you're gonna be nice and give away money and try to help someone, definitely um, make sure the check goes to the doctor or you pay for it and then all they have to do is show up. <laughs> like, I know, no damn way I just met you and just gonna hand out some money like, what? Now over the months and I got to know you and yeah, I had the money, yes. Definitely, yes. But this is just one day. Okay, we're gonna say two days. Benefit of doubt. <laughs> now I'm going downstairs to mail this letter and I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Dr. Schaffhausen. Dr. Emil Schaffhausen. Who? The doctor here. Hello again. <laughs> Are you Dr. Schaffhausen? <laughs> like a home man. <laughs> this is a miracle. Bye. <laughs> Could I just talk to you for a minute right now? Please, I am on my vacation. Right. She gonna give him the money, he's gonna win the bet. He's a doctor. <laughs> Had a slow moment. Right next to you at the roulette table. Benson, Benson. In the while you're on vacation, Dr. Shelf has him, but can I, can I just get you to take a look at him? I'm sorry for... No. What is your name? But if it's a matter of money, I've... You haven't given him any money, have you? One that is. That's a blow. It makes my work so much harder. Does that mean you'll see him? Right. Where is the boy? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I hope you do get busted. Were you? What? <laughs> Cover your eyes. I found the doctor. You are a nut. Go on. <laughs> Thousand. <laughs> Look how he opens the fucking door. I know you. <laughs> the evil eye. Great. Yes, sir. Completely numb. No feeling whatsoever. I would have laughed. I would have laughed. I'm no. lost. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> he better not. Low Jesus. Mm hmm. They don't build it. No. How about this? He holding that in. Any feelings there? Bitch, I felt it. <laughs> Did you hear that, Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Doctor, he's so happy he's crying. Because mm. it hurts. success thanks to you oh, i feel so proud accent i'm traveling incognito oh, 
I see. It's gone. Who are the freedom fighters? Charmed. Your High... Let's have lunch, Mrs. Reed. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. I will telephone you. Oh, please. Gosh. He's driving me crazy. The dedication. The respect. Freddie, isn't this beautiful? I can't yeah. believe this is really happening. May I show you the villa? It has a fascinating history. Look at you. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Let me show you the rest of the villa. Okay. What the hell? I'd like to come upstairs too. Of course you would. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's only funny because it, he, he's he really can walk. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my beautiful goodness. look at all that isn't this beautiful mm. i love all these old musical instruments <laughs> ready <Freddy>. sing <laughs> the more he sees us dance the more he will get used to it <laughs> be wrong i have a splendid day planned for freddy but I need your help for his therapy to be successful. This on the bed. Thank you, Arthur. Would you please see that my grandmother gets my insurance and if my body's washed ashore, that my remains are cremated in sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do it if nobody cares? Nothing. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The man is here with your satellite dish. The satellite dish. <sighs> you gone. <laughs> Look how close, like, he is about to get caught. At this point, we really have to look in the mirror and question ourselves as soon as we wake up look at this man look what he is doing <laughs> for not i'm not gonna say nothing it's for money it's for a bet but this is how this man makes a living it blows my mind it, it blows <laughs> do it right then i'm not going to leave you i'm going to get dr schofhausen Janet, 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 <laughs> Janet, please. Well. I remember how I used to stare at her and just sit and touch her <laughs> face. Another girl for the rest of my life. Freddie, that is ridiculous. Am I attractive and exciting to you? <laughs> Why you play that card? Miss Colgate. <laughs> she kissing a <the> patient. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you heard that awful story about his girlfriend and the dancer, how did that make you feel? I must be his role model. We must We have to be strong for him. Said Freddy will literally want to jump out of the wheelchair. Don't show any pity. Look happy. Enjoy yourself. Are you sure? What's stopping you? Get out of that chair and dance with the girl. <laughs> look at the two men behind him. They look good serious. So, get up and oh. dance, he says. I like to smack him. That's one. why. She used to be my girl. Would you mind if I gave you a little kiss? Tongue action. <laughs> Oi. What do you want to do? There's a transport plane leaving for Honduras at one o'clock tonight. How'd you like your friend to be on it? Good night, Freddie. Good night, my I'll ass. Right back. I cannot believe y'all both treated him like that through the whole night. <laughs> we understand why, though. Like, it's a bit, he not really. I left the car and the furniture and all the jewelry. What cash prize? From the contest. You see, I entered their contest and then I won. Oh. 
But you'd sell everything you owned for him? Well, that's not everything. I'm keeping the mink. She has no money. Well, she has money, but she she's not rich. She just makes it look good. And that just makes you love her more. And look at him, look at his eyes. Like this just wants to make him change his life. <laughs> I, I just cannot do it. Them. Besides, the men. knowing I helped a man like Freddy. Sincere. You, you are wonderful. Freddy, get it into your head. That is off. The bet's off. She hasn't got the money. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like you're trying to get out of the bet. All right, we'll forget mm -hmm. about the money. <laughs> I'm so weird saying right. Rich or poor, you should not use people. <laughs> the fuck? But the bet is still on. First one to get her into bed. It originates above the waist. No! I'm just betting that you fail. Loser leaves town. Loser leaves town. I say. Doctor. Captain? Which one of you is <laughs> Dr. Shelf hasn't took you home. Yeah, well, he did. I couldn't sleep. I I have to talk to you, Janet. Again, if the desire was strong enough. And I think I could walk again if I thought you loved me too. Oh. What are you doing? Now, she wants you to stand walk. up and walk to me. And walk to me, please, Freddy, just try. It's a new bet now. Come Head is exploding. You won't let me down. No, I won't let you down. <laughs> he's gonna make her fall back yeah. and he's gonna yeah. land. <laughs> walk to me. Prove that I love you. You trying to do more. <laughs> you already get naked. Our love, Freddy. How'd you get there? This man can really perform miracles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to believe it too. Taking her to the airport in the morning. You failed. And I'm making sure she gets as far away from you as possible. <laughs> and he can walk just like the man said he could. Oi, hey, guys! Have a look at this. <laughs> Damn! It's always a little twist. There's people out there that really don't have legs, no arms, and you over here thinking it's a joke. Yeah. All right. He's not his help. But now your feet. <laughs> you do what I tell you, and you can keep the feet. Bye. <laughs> super glue solvent. I super glue his hand. <laughs> there goes your bet. Gone. Have a safe trip and a prosperous career. Janet, it's me, Freddy. Janet. <clears throat> she came back. She came back. She really thinks really? she knows. You actually yeah, me. <laughs> Questionable, huh? Well, sure. <laughs> I cannot. Don't give it to him, girl. Keep it closed. <laughs> Miss Colgate was seen returning to the hotel. And I took her to the plane. Then somebody has taken her off. Oh, not long, mm -hmm. but long enough. It is a disaster. <laughs> Seems the teacher is. They've been doing them. <laughs> My old friend. <laughs> Jenna, what is the matter? I know what you said, but I, I just had to see him again. You, we made love, and and then what happened was, I fell asleep, and when I woke up. He was gone. My jewelry, my traveler's checks. You really did that, Freddy. Deuce. I'm beginning to think that he could walk. That he pretended this whole the prize. You know what I'm laughing at? Hell no. Nah. I'm laughing at because I said, no, he didn't. <laughs> Freddy, like, like, I don't know what he's been doing this whole movie. <laughs> I was dead ass surprised that he took all her stuff and left that morning. But. I still thought, you know, he's gonna come and say, yeah, I won. Money. 
everything. Officer Benson, it seems he has stolen some of Miss Colgate's property. I should be at the airport. Any good psychiatrist would have known he was a charlatan. Come. In any case, it's cheaper than a malpractice suit, which I'm sure you would win. I can't take your money. It has been so great to meet you. I... If you're ever in Cleveland... And we're not going to act like he didn't place a bet on her either. Like it was a poker game. <laughs> I can't take this. <laughs> he thought he was getting this the hug. Hey, he thought he was about to get a hug. He went out like this and she shoved the thing into his arms. Me, and I'll always have something from you that means much more. What the Pope po on? And you can't harm her again. What? You let her go Why? I gotta stop her. Hey! You let her go! I know you slept with her, but you didn't have to steal her money. Steal her money? She's a con artist too. A 2,000 francs she gave me. Do you really expect me to believe And that? I said she's such a good woman. thousand dollars that I gave her. What? Liars. Who to believe? <laughs> Tricked by another con artist. I'll <laughs> miss you. Love, Janet. <laughs> I mean, is Janet wrong? Because she was being used in play too. But she was playing them too. I don't know. She is two-faced. She is conniving. She's brilliant. She's the pro. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the team, Janet. <laughs> I'm sorry I broke your VHS player. I want you to give me the make and model number. As soon as I get settled, I'm going to send you a check. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Liar. You know, I kind of had it figured from the beginning. Jay, Janet... Jay, Jackal. Goodbye. Goodbye, Freddy. <laughs> there you are! God, what a hike! What are you kidding me with this gravel? These heels weren't made for this. Oh, this about Australia. And then it hits me. Boom! Australia! What are you kidding me? We gotta go meet Mr. Australia himself. Are you gonna say anything? How's it going, sport? Yeah, he had to figure out what voice it was. <laughs> you still have any of those uh, situations? Whiz kid. Randy Bentwick. Unfortunately, Randy is a mute. Keep going. Last year I made three million dollars, but your 50,000 was the most fun. Damn, I didn't even recognize that was Jack. Janet, for real, bring your ass here, girl. <laughs> Like, hold up, am I missing something? I guess it does kind of look like Janet. It's a damn shame. <laughs> <laughs> now, we gonna start off by saying this is so wrong, but it was so right for the so and the laughter. Um, obviously, it's comedy, it's a storyline, you know. So don't take it serious. If you ever, you know, got scammed, I understand if you mad at this video. <laughs> I understand whatsoever if you dislike this video and if you have ever got scammed or any of that and this brings you back some traumatizing ass memories. Cause I could only imagine <laughs> and any woman, a rich woman or a poor woman, you shouldn't use anyone. Um, but they feel the rich woman has more money and she has money to spare. She's not going to be without with $50, $100,000, $50,000, 100000 you know, a lot of money missing, you know. But it's still wrong. But overall, you guys, this was, this was, um, this was laughter. <laughs> Baby, I tell you, this was laughter. Definitely get with stars, 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 stars. This came out in 1988. Steve Martin and Michael Caine. Like, they, they funny as hell. We have to give it up to them because this came out in 1988. They still alive. Oh, look at him. He is 88 years old, you guys. Steve is 75, you guys. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And he still has the white hair. <laughs> Loved it.
I love a movie that can make me laugh and this one definitely nailed it out the park. Try Not to Laugh, we definitely failed um, from the very beginning, from the very beginning and your highness, like it was just so funny. You guys give me your opinions down below for links. We're actually going down the description. We should go show you guys some love. Definitely appreciate it. It helps you grow loud. Um, no edits, no cuts. Thank you, my black sheets, for tuning in and watching another movie with me. Another one off the list. And like I said, there's another tier going on. And then movies go up to the top of the list, you guys. So this is one of them. And I think we have like three to four more. And then we'll get back to our regular um, original list. So thank you guys for tuning back in and enjoying this with me. If this is your first time, make sure you guys let me know that too. And the scene you guys laughed at and let's go.